So, Maria is going to show us a magic trick, and supposedly, she has shown this trick to several people who are of quite high intelligence. Professors, even. Professors and what, exactly? You math. said? Oh, and even math teachers, or professors. So, let's see if I can... She's, she's asked friends and professors if they can understand how the trick is done. Well, let's see if I can figure it out. So, we got this trick here. And, Maria, what are we doing here? Okay, well, this trick has a story... Okay. And the story is this. Once upon a time, there was two kings. And one king had four sons, and one king had four daughters. So they, one of the kings decided to invite the other king over with the children, because they were about the same age, and we thought, you know, sort of unite the kingdom, meet, get the boys to meet the girls, etc. So he invited them over for a dinner. After dinner, the king said, okay, everybody, it's time to go to bed. However, because we had four boys and four girls, the, the, kings whose, the king whose castle it was decided, mm hmm, okay, what I thought we'll do is just to keep everything kind of on the up and up, we'll put two girls in one bedroom. Mm hmm We'll put the other two girls in one bedroom. We'll put two brothers in one bedroom, and we'll put the other two brothers in one bedroom. And to be, like, super sure that there's no hanky-panky, let's put a lock on each door. Okay, but, you know, we'll open them in the morning, and there's no problem. But to be really super sure, let's put a guard on each door. Okay, so good night, everybody. Good night. Everybody goes to sleep. The two brothers, two brothers together, the two sisters together, other two brothers together, other two sisters. So everybody goes to sleep. Good night, good night, good night. Now, in the middle of the night, there's this whole big commotion. Uh, there's fire, yelling and screaming and everything going on, and it's coming in from the kitchen. And so everybody gets up, gets out of bed, goes running around the castle to figure out what's going on. And they discover that one of the servants forgot to turn off the fire place. And so there was a big fire. And uh, so they figured out what that was. And I forget now how many I've... No problem. Okay. That's okay. So they all return to their rooms now. Maria, so they all Maria, return to their. Rooms. Let's all bring them back to their rooms now. So we've seen oh, her okay. shuffle. We've seen her shuffle the cards. Yeah. So that means that you know there was all this commotion, and so everybody's yeah. back into their room. Everybody goes back to their room, and we put the locks and the guards, and the, everything is back to normal. And so, good night, everybody. Good night. So the next morning, the kings said, oh, let's wake up these kids and have breakfast. So they went, and they figured, oh, my goodness. We have, how did we get the four guards in one bedroom? How did we get a girl and a boy and a girl and a boy in the other bedroom? How did we get the four locks in one bedroom? And how did we get a girl and a boy and a girl and a boy in the other bedroom? Now, isn't that incredible? Okay, so I was really curious about this trick because apparently she learned it from a 12-year-old in Cuba, but there are so many people that she learned that um, she asked this trick about, and none of them could figure it out. So I wanted to take a look. I thought... Let's look at these cards. And she spent hours, she told me, how to do this. Or she was trying to figure it out. So I thought, you know what, let's do it, but let's look at the cards this time. Okay? So I thought, you know what, let's do it face up. So we got, like this, right? No, nope. uh, boy, boy, girl, girl. Oh, that's correct. Two okay. boys together. So two boys here, and we got two girls here. We got another boy here on the other side. Girl here, boy here, girl here. We have an ace, an ace, an ace, and an ace. And a two, a two, a two, and a two, correct? The ace being the lock and the two being the guard. Now the thing with this trick is that, and I started to notice that, when you shuffle, you don't shuffle the cards in between each other. 
you do it, you only shuffle with a card going behind a card or a card going in front of a card. card. What this does is you're not actually shuffling a card at all. All you're doing is putting the cards into a cycle. And that is why the cards always end up in that exact formation. Now, if we were to take all the cards and put them back as you did, but not shuffle them at all, they're going to end up exactly the way you want. No matter... There we go, see? They're going to end up exactly like this every single time. All the twos, all the aces, all the jacks and queens mixed together, and the jacks and queens mixed together. Now, again, if you're still confused about how exactly this works, well, let me show you to be in a more literal sense. Oh, sorry, no, get together. Sorry about that. Okay. And then we need a jack here, we need a queen there, we need a queen here, and then we need two, 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 ace, 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 okay? Anyway. So if we pick up the cards in the exact same order that they came up in, we're just going to put them down like this. Face up, in the exact order, and we're not going to do any shuffling just yet, anyway. So as I stated before, shuffling does absolutely nothing. So no matter what you do, like I said, when you shuffle, all you do is you put the card either behind or in front. But it becomes a cycle. So if I take one queen and put him here, so then we've got a queen, ace, two. Queen, ace, two. And it's going to cycle like that. You can put three cards. You can, either put, you can even put a queen, another queen, 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 ace. Queen, queen, ace. So the cycle always works the same way. And I'll even put it into a circle so you can see it. So if I go like this... Okay, now the cards are in a circle. So, queen, queen, ace, two. Let's find it again. Queen, queen, ace, two. Or, two, jack, jack, ace. Or, two, jack, jack, ace. So that's how the card trick is done. So the cards will always end up in a circular cycle, no matter what, because when you shuffle, you only put the card in front of or behind, but not in between. So no matter what, the cards will always be in this exact formation. So when you actually put the cards down in their correct order, they will end up with all the girls together, or the sorry, girls and boys mixed up, and all the kings together, you know, all the aces together, and all the twos together. And that's exactly how this trick is done. What do you think of that, Maria? I think it's awesome. You're brilliant. <laughs> what did you guys think about this trip?